In June 2007, my mother and I set out on what would be the most disastrous and yet amazing life-changing trips there could be. You may wonder why I say disastrous. Well, our first flight out of Kentucky was delayed, then broke down, so our four-hour layover in Atlanta suddenly became five minutes, and we became those people who literally run through the airport like in the movies. Once finally arriving in Ireland, we discovered that half our luggage never left Kentucky. And of course it was the half that had all the plug and outlet converters. Our bus broke down the first day, and then it proceeded to rain every day, all day, for the remainder of the trip. Now we knew it would be rainy. It's Ireland after all. But even the Irish were amazed at how much. There was one day when it rained 10 inches. With all of this though, it was the most amazing trip. I literally cried in the airport because I didn't want to leave. Have you ever been to a place and just immediately felt like you were home? That was how it was for me. I felt home here. It was a place where you walk out the door of your hotel and across the parking lot is a castle. That was something I never got tired of either. Everywhere you turned, there was a castle it seemed. It made me realize just how young America really is. Waiting that first morning for our bus to be fixed? We wandered around the grounds of the hotel and discovered a cemetery behind it. And then suddenly the planes, lost luggage, rain, and broken down bus didn't matter. And I knew this trip was going to be awesome when I was just wandering around and turned to find this. Hayes is the part of my family that most recently came from Ireland. It was only a couple generations ago, and yet I don't know much about them, just the traditions they left behind. And now here was proof that they were really here, and now I was too. So at that moment, I knew this was going to be a very special trip. We hopped on our bus, which I couldn't help but think looked like a bug, and arrived at what looked like a long path to nowhere. But as you travel up the path, you find yourself at the Cliffs of Moor, some of the most breathtaking views that these images don't even do justice. And that was the start of me being in a constant state of awe, with no words, or dumbly saying, wow, all the time. Some of my favorite things were the Celtic crosses. Haunted houses, which I found out later, this one is in Ireland's top 10 most haunted list. We didn't get to stop by it, but just driving by gave me a chill. Street signs that I would never be able to understand or follow. The Polnebron which I didn't know things like this even existed outside of Stonehenge. And then you go from ancient history to beautiful art as we visited Celtic Crystal and watched as glass was etched with the designs that actually told stories. Part of what made this such an amazing trip was all of the travel. Over the course of 12 days, we traveled the entire country, every night a new hotel, and every day the most beautiful and breathtaking sights. And, of course, a few castles mixed in, even in the middle of a lock. One of my favorite sights was all of the stone fences. You also couldn't help but get caught up in all of the stories of fairies, ghosts, and mysteries of the country. Doors in the sides of rock walls and wooden paths that leave the world and everything else behind and make you think that if you look long enough, or hard enough, maybe you can see one of those little fairies. And all the while, it really was a constant state of extreme wind or rain. But that was okay. We always ended every evening in a pub to warm up. I think one of the highlights of the trip was being in Dublin on Bagot Street in front of the international headquarters of the Sisters of Mercy. This organization is the sponsor of the high school Amanda and I went to, as well as the school we teach at now. To be able to stand there in Ireland on Bagot Street next to the statue of foundress sister Catherine McCauley, people and places that my teen self as well as current self have been inundated with. It was kind of surreal. Then mom had to find a statue so she hung out with Molly Malone for a bit and if you know the story of Molly this is kind of funny. Ireland, the place of my ancestry, the place where I have never felt more at ease or at home, the place that never ceases to amaze with its beauty, the place where I hope to visit again someday.